Hi, beautiful beings. Today, I will be guiding you through a 15-minute feel-good flow. Go ahead and begin in a comfy seated position, bringing eyes to close and coming into this present moment. Maybe setting an intention perhaps to feel good today. Feeling the power of the breath coming in through your nose and out through your mouth. Then we'll meet in a tabletop position, waking up those wrists, taking gentle circles to the right for five. Staying with the breath for any movements we may take today. And then reversing for five. Feeling your connection to the earth through your fingertips. And then taking fingertips towards your knees and gently stretching a little deeper, bringing elbows down towards the mat. Taking care to keep a gentle bend in the elbows so as to not hyperextend. Next, we'll flip onto the backs of our hands, fingertips up towards the sky, maybe taking some gentle finger waves here. And go ahead and bring chest down towards the earth and pressing it back up for some mini wrist push-ups here. Just going with the flow of your own body at your own pace. Then come back into a neutral tabletop and press wrists up for 10, building strength and breathing. Now we'll move through some cat cows, waking up that lower spine. Inhale as we look up and exhale as we round through the back. Now take any spinal movements that feel good here. Maybe some circles to the right, waking up that kundalini energy at the base of your spine. And then reversing to the left. Next, we'll melt our hearts down to the earth by walking our hands forward into a puppy pose. Resting your forehead on the earth or your chin to go a bit deeper here. And breathing in, relaxing any muscles that may be holding on to any tension. Imagining clear, free flowing energy in the body. Then coming back into a neutral tabletop, we'll extend the left arm to the sky and thread it through for thread the needle. Maybe widening the hips here and breathing through that shoulder blade and upper back. Bring the top arm forward or around for a bind here. And then whenever you're ready, we'll go ahead and come back. Bringing that right arm to the sky and threading it through, bringing the top arm forward or around for a bind. Feeling that opening in the shoulder blade and the upper back. One more deep breath here. 
And then gently coming all the way back to a neutral tabletop, tucking the toes. And gently walking hands back, settling down onto the heels. Coming back down onto the hands if you like, or rocking from side to side on the heels. Just taking any movements that feel good in your body as I am merely your guide today. We'll be taking some wrist circles before coming back to sit back on the heels. And then bringing hands underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and stretch out the tops of the feet. If you'd like to take any variations here, you're welcome to, such as pressing through the quads and lifting up. Maybe bringing one leg up at a time. Just coming into the fullest expression that feels good in your body today. And then we will go ahead and come forward into a Sphinx pose. Elbows under the shoulders and shining the heart forward. Breathing deeply here, feeling that long line of energy from your root to the crown of your head. And then you can stay here or take it further into a seal pose or upward facing dog. And then from here, gently pressing back into your downward facing dog. Gently pedaling, walking out the feet. Pressing through the shoulders, feeling that energy coming up through your fingertips and out through the bottom of your feet. Breathing deeply here and sighing it out, lion's breath. Lengthening through the spine. And then walking it forward, coming into a nice forward fold. Maybe catching opposite elbows and swaying from side to side. Then gently rolling all the way up to the sky, reaching arms overhead collecting all that love for yourself and for the earth and then folding it forward, stepping back into a plank pose and then coming down to rest in a child's pose. Connecting your third eye with the earth, that inner sight, intuition. And from here, bringing legs out in front of you. Taking any movements with your ankles that feel good, maybe some circles, flipping your fins like a mermaid. And then inhale, arms up to the sky and fold forward with the heart first, coming down into a forward fold only going as deep in the stretch as it feels good in your body. Focusing on keeping the back nice and long and straight. Engaging the quads to help release the hamstrings. And imagine any tension here releasing out through the feet. From here, rolling the feet out to the side and bringing them into a butterfly pose. Flapping your wings and flying wherever you'd like to go. And then reaching up and folding forward with the heart first.
Breathing deeply here, keeping the spine nice and long. And then come out of this into a nice wide leg straddle pose. And reaching over to the right side. Really opening through the chest and up to the sky. Then reverse and stretch over to the other side. Opening here. Coming back to center, reaching up to the sky and bringing that heart forward. Letting hands come down and walking them out. Melting the heart towards the earth. Keeping the legs engaged and squeezing the muladhara bandha. Letting everything release here. And then gently walking back up. Making your way onto your back. Grazing fingertips towards heels. And pressing up into a bridge pose. Maybe rolling shoulders under and watching the belly rise and fall. And then coming down just for a moment. From here, you can go into a bridge or wheel, listening to what feels good in your body today. Feeling that expansion and then coming back down, hugging knees into chest and rocking from side to side. And then rocking forward and back, eventually meeting in a seated pose before rolling through and meeting back into a downward facing dog. Go ahead and extend the right leg up and then bring that right knee through to right wrist, coming into half pigeon, pausing at the top for a moment and then walking hands forward. Deep breaths here as we wind down. Gently walking back up and making your way back to downward facing dog. Lifting the left leg up to the sky, extending and bringing left knee over to left wrist. Pausing for a moment before walking, hands forward. Seeing how deeply you can sink into this pose. And then coming back up and gently making your way down to your back. Hugging right knee into your chest and bringing it over to the left for a lying twist. Gazing out over your right shoulder. And then hugging left knee into your chest, bringing it across your body and looking out over your left shoulder.
and then coming into a happy baby, rocking from side to side, taking any final movements that feel good in your body, maybe stretching one leg out to the side or both. And gently make your way into Shavasana. Absorbing the benefits of this practice and relaxing your entire body. Enjoying these final blissful moments. You can stay here for longer or roll onto your favorite side. Coming back up to meet in an easy seat. And then inhaling hands up overhead, bringing hands down to your heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. The light in me honors and recognizes the light in you. Namaste. See you next time.